rose is created by using the five petal cutter, 75 mil, calyx on the back. I'm going to show you how to make a rose using the FMM five petaled rose cutter. This is 75 mil. I'm using a 20 gauge green wire, which I've hooked already, with my tweezers. And I'm going to make a cone. So knead your paste up, make a ball in your hand, and make a cone. Measure the cone by putting it against your cutter, and make sure that it goes from the center and not from the top of the petal. I'm going to put a little glue onto the wire and insert into the bottom, and then pinch. Now it is best if you leave this to dry for about two hours. Roll and then I remove. So that when I put my cutter on, I can put my fingers into the middle, hold the cutter and move the cutter so that the paste is in the cutter. And then just going to put it onto the soft pad and cut another one. Keep your paste in your plastic bag to keep it from drying out. Okay, onto the soft pad I'm using my bone tool and I'm going to soften the edges of the petals. Now I don't frill them, I just soften. So that means put the ball tool a little on the pad and a little on the paste and go one that way and one that way. And the second one, I'll do the same thing. Flower paste can be rolled nice and fine and it's nice and strong. I'm going to turn this petal over and cup each one. If your paste is a little sticky, don't hesitate to use your corn flour to dry it out. Okay, the first one, the flat one, I'm going to put a little glue. I come about a quarter of the way up each petal. If you put too much glue on, your rose closes up too tight. If you want it to be opened a little, then just bring a quarter of the way. And I put a little glue onto my cone. And to put with the flat one, in it goes, up onto my finger, and then onto my thumb. First petal I'm going to pick up, I took, go from the right hand side in, and curve the left hand around slightly. Miss a petal, take the third one, and in it goes. At this stage, you can leave it as a bud-like. And take away these petals, you can just cut them away. If you want to go to the second stage, you then bring one, turn it around, two, three. Each time put in the petal behind and inside the previous one. If you need a little more glue, add just a touch. And then close that, like so. I'm just going to Tease the petals back slightly to do a nice curved opened bud. Okay, to do a full blown, I'm just going to do the next stage onto here, onto my finger, thumb, and now I'm just going to bring up one, go behind two, behind three, four, and the last one behind number four and inside number one. Touch on the bottom to make sure they're nice and closed, and then just curve with your finger and thumb. To that stage. Don't be tempted to put too much glue on. Just hang it upside down while you're getting your calyx ready, and hang it on your flower drying stand. And now I'll just put a calyx on.
I'm using a little green paste and for this green I've used spruce green and gooseberry green and mixed the two. I'm going to put a tiny little white fat on my board so that the paste will stay where I want it to stay. Turn and roll. Turn and roll. And again, lift the paste away from where you put your fat, put it on a dry spot and take your calyx cutter. Put your fingers into the center and move and turn and move and turn. Now pop your paste over the side of your cutter, hold it onto your hand, rub like so and there's your calyx. Back onto the soft pad. I'm going to just slightly soften each petal and it will slightly elongate it. I'm making this cup all the way around the rose and close up because I want it to go into a spray so therefore I'm not going to leave little bits sticking up to be broken. Into the middle again and off the side of the pad and up, pushing each one like so. I'll just put a little bead on the bottom of the calyx to finish off and to create this seed pod on the bottom I just make a little ball, put it onto the soft pad, use your bone tool again the small side into it and then with your fingers ease it around so it's still bulbous like. Put a little glue on and onto the bottom of your rose. And that's that.